Looks like we're back at the Sunny Two Fort. But what could possibly be going on today? Could it be another one of those Dr. Lovecat's duels? But what is he going to be dueling for? Well, you're about to find out. Hey, peeps. Guess who it is? Hmm, Dr. Lovecat? Um, yeah, I think so. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? And about last episode, I'm not sure if you liked it. I did suck pretty bad. Um, yeah, that was my first try. First time trying it, sorry, but honestly, I, it, was, it wasn't it was that I'm, I was good, but it was kind of like fun to play, so I decided to show you guys something new that not a lot of people use. So I hope you enjoyed it. But as you see today, I am dueling once again. Honestly, one of the toughest duels I went through. Um, I've lost before, so I've been, I guess, through tougher duels, but this was like a tight duel where we were kind of evened out. And you probably know, um, as you saw before, I used the Darwin's Danger Shield. But in this game, I decided to make it fair, because the other guy wanted to make it fair. At any time, he said we can switch our secondary weapons, our... Um, because I was using the Jurati, he was using the SMG, I believe. And so we both decided, like at any time, there wasn't any rule that said you cannot switch, right? And so I guess I had it off for, um, for a while and decided if he was going to start kicking my butt, then why not change it to, you know, the Darwin's Danger Shield? So I kind of decided to, like, if I was going to be winning, like, 7 to 5, for example. Near the end, I would put on the Darwin's Danger Shield, so then he would have no way out. He he would know he's basically kind of screwed, unless he put on the Darwin's Danger Shield too. But, I would at least get like a free kill, since he can't just... Maybe if, unless he ran back into the spawn and grabbed it, but that'd be kind of cheap. Anyway, so it's like a tie game right now. He's actually pretty good. I kind of I kind of screwed up myself. And as you see, it's, it's really tight. It's like a lot of left, right, left, right, jump, crouch, and really really tough my heart once again it was like pounding hands were shaking although it it was a bud that we were dueling for and buds aren't actually that high right now buds are like 5.2 keys or so and keys are falling down as well like people are selling them for 17 refined right now so it's actually and people don't say it's people say that buds are in a currency and all that i from here's my opinion guys i don't listen to that i just buy as many as I can because if people think they're not gonna be anything in the future then they don't have to buy anything me I am if you guys want to uh, sell some to me because I'll be more than happy to buy them for like four keys each because I sure do know that buds will not stay at like two keys each if buds were so high and buds were always the currency then why all of a sudden should buds not be anything and so that's why I want to get as many buds as possible while they're low and this will allow me to profit quite a bit if they do go back up although I did lose in the past two weeks I believe because I realized I kind of rushed it but um, I bought some earbuds for seven keys each and they fell back down two keys and I was totally expecting to me I was expecting that and that was expected and honestly I I don't really it doesn't really matter to me okay I I bought two earbuds for seven keys I lost four keys but I know I'll get all of this back once the market gets back to its own place and the market will never like won't stay like this for a long time I don't I just don't think so and I heard a lot of this is happening because of the refined amount of the refined that's out there and as you see a lot of the refined is in my backpack <laughs> oh I just like to think that but no, there is just thousands and thousands of refined metal, maybe millions, who knows. Maybe there are just people creating like these accounts just to hold their like metal. But um, your backpack has can reach, if you buy backpack expenders, uh, your backpack can reach 2,000 slots maximum. So, and people are talking about, well, how are we supposed to buy the, for example, the golden pen or... I think it was the burning team captain if it's like 540 buds or something but buds aren't used as a currency anymore and that would be like 
over like 2,000 keys and you only have 2,000 ba like backpack slots so they were like complaining about how is that possible and this is another one of those reasons why I don't think buds will not be a currency they will have to be a currency because of the maximum backpack slots it's just you need space in your backpack and it's it, it won't happen for long I honestly I'd give it um, one more month before the summer buds will be back at where they're supposed to be but that's just a prediction so don't completely listen to me this is just my thought and this is what I'm kind of thinking of doing just getting as many earbuds as I can before I can before the summer so later on I can just get all these unusuals that used to be so hard to get and they won't be hard to get since I got those earbuds cheap and now I can get them easily right so to me it'll be like oh yeah I just got them you know for 10 keys while the unusual is at like 60 keys when it was a 10 so it was like 50 key profit and although keys won't be worth the same amount but I can use those 50 keys to unbox I mean just you get the chance of unboxing right like you, you know you know what I mean right like it's just I, I think it's a great way to profit that that's that's my opinion and I will buy those earbuds anyway so looks like I won the duel yeah guys we got this we got this free earbud I, I was just really happy because it is the earbud although earbuds like I said they're only five keys and I'm still happy like just the look of the earbud will always make me happy it can be worth even five refined and an earbud will be worth a lot to me maybe to some people it's like ah, oh, it's just an earbud but to me it's more than an earbud it's like that was always my dream item and the day I got it, I was like, no way, I just, I, ju I was just jumping, I was just cheering on, I was like so happy, like I just couldn't sit in my chair, but it was one of the greatest days in my life, then my dream item turned into a Villain's Veil, a Circling Heart Villain's Veil, and I got that too, but peeps, as you see, I got both the earbuds, my earbud and his earbud, the kid was complaining a bit, like, why would you use the Darwin's Danger Shield and all that, and we made the rules clear, but Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like, uh, subscribe, tell your friends about this channel, and bye.